it's Jib, it's Kerry and Stitches, it's Friday the 12th of October and this is Floss Tube number 29, 29 yes, to think about that one, write that down. Uh, I hope you're all well, it's, um, we had a lovely weather, weather wise we had a beautiful first half of the week, it's been pretty, it's pretty miserable today, it is chucking it down and quite gale, blowy, yeah it's not very nice. Um, no, especially as I have to go to the supermarket again. I've been once this morning and forgotten three things, so I'm a bit irritated by that. Um, and there are three things I need today. My daughter is having friends to play and I have no pudding in the house for them. Ice cream, pudding. Uh, yeah, so I've got no ice cream in and after a very specific, we would like mint cornettos. So. I need to go back and get that and we normally do an after school treat before tea as well so I've got and I need to buy popcorn for that and oh, wobbling the camera get hold off for that um I'll have to go to town later as well go and take my mum shopping and have some lunch that'll be nice well it's really in and out of shops so I'm gonna knock this out in an hour and get going so uh, uh, uh. Uh, this is the second take of this video because I really I thought oh I haven't got a pencil I've got you know two minutes in I like I like to have a, something to write down in case I need to make a note or something you know I haven't got one oh there's not one around me oh I'll just go and get one looked down my list and realised I hadn't picked up two of my projects either so without further ado oh life update um I've had no college work to do for a fortnight it's been lovely oh, just no studying. It's quite a relief and I have my final assessment next Wednesday, Thursday. Jobs are good and I'm super happy about that. Um, what else? Trauma clinic again next week with um, Tom. Fingers healing nicely. Well, I assume it is. He's not complaining. Um, he'll be complaining when he has to go back and start doing PE and dance again. Although I think he might escape dance because he's not... They only do dance every half term, so every other half term. So he'll be pretty much through his rotation when he's done. Um, what else? Lottie got a couple of certificates at school. They did some construction. She goes to French club and they did um, the tallest Eiffel Tower competition and got a certificate for that. So she was very pleased and a prize. And she, and, um, and she also got her certificate and a book voucher but a book token for the summer reading challenge uh our, well it's a nationwide thing where local libraries host a reading challenge where basically you read six library books whatever you want over the summer over the summer holidays and you can and then you get a prize at the end of it uh we also got two free days out at croom which is a local national trust place uh yeah and she gets like stickers and bookmarks and stuff as you go so it's one of, and she gets a medal at the end of it it is worth reading six books for two days out and a prize and she gets a book token from school as well so um, the school thing is completely voluntary they don't have to do that uh, but it's a really nice gesture I think so to encourage kids to read so that's been that what else have we done not a lot so we did a load of housework and gardening a couple of uh, the weekend of my last floss tube and um, didn't do anything last weekend, it was lovely. Didn't do, didn't do a thing. Um, that's about it. Keep looking at the weather thinking, ooh, got to go out in this, but hey-ho, on we shall go. Right. <coughs> it's, <coughs> uh, it's been a pretty good happy mail week, so I'm looking forward to showing you all what I got. My poor Rita Marie still hasn't gotten my Bispacorne parcel, so I'm getting a bit worried that it's now lost in transit and somewhere between here and Norway there's a box kicking around in the corner of a royal of a postal service warehouse um i'm hoping that arrives soon people have been receiving their what are those things i make biscornery doodars there you go technical term biscornery what's it um i think there's only one person i haven't heard from as to whether they received theirs or not um and i've got three more to go out this weekend so exciting I think that leaves me then with three or four people on my list of people who I wanted to make them for to do. 
Um, because I'm trying to do three or four a month now. I had a big plan of going, I'm going to do all of them. But no, that's just silly. And cost a fortune in postage. Um, right. We got lots of, I've got a new, oh, what do you call it? Giveaway. In addition to my normal giveaways. And um, I have got... Let's get on with it because there's lots to show you. As you know, the 1st of October was the coffee time sale hosted by myself and the lovely Tess Stitches. And I'm going to apologise to you now, Tess. I don't know how I've only managed to watch half of your 10 minute video. Um, I, oh, that's what happened last weekend. I cleared my floss tube watch list Woo! and put a few new people in who I can't remember. Misty Purcell was the only one. I can Purcell. Um, who else did I remember? Leslie Fat Cat Flossy. I think that's her. And there were a couple of other people who are well known in the floss tube community whose videos just popped up in my suggestions. And I was like, okay, yeah, let's just start sticking all these new all these people in that I've heard of and just haven't got around to watching. Um, and then every day this last couple of this last week five of my five floss tubers or more have put new videos out and it's just kind of like my list back up to 30 or 40 i'm like okay now what i'm doing this weekend um what was i doing oh i haven't bought it in so it doesn't matter um so to back to tess and i we are doing coffee time sale by lizzie kate i haven't got the chart in here um the stitch along is still well and truly ongoing so um do still draw. Um, trying to see if it's anywhere near. No, nope, I haven't got it here at all. Uh, so, still ongoing. Please still join us in. It's Lizzie Kate Coffee Time. It's chart 183. Um, hashtag is on the screen right now. Thank you very much, Andrew, my husband. Here we go. Hashtag Katie Coffee Time Sal. And I had to remember it myself then. So. You're like, come on, Kerry, get on with it. Um, I've got to finish, got to finish. Look, there's mine. So I decided to stitch um, today's good mood because, let's face it, my moods generally are sponsored by coffee. I you I subbed. Uh, there were maybe two or three called for colours. Um, actually. There are none of the cool four colours because it's all in weeks and I changed it all to, I converted it all to DMC, which I think the conversion is given, and then used DMC for uh, the, the steam, although I think it was, I think it was blanket or white it um, converted to and I had, I couldn't find white. I found B5200, so B5200 is. Um, the brownie coloured line, um, two lines in the cup, are whatever the called for DMC were. And that's it. So I had two browns. It was a lighter brown and a darker brown, and I just found two gassed in my stash. The cup and the heart are done in Jodry, and I added a second and an additional border at the top to mirror the bottom. Um, on my own tea coffee dyed fabric, um, the bottom, uh, yeah, the, the two colours are Jodry's, uh, Sapphire's, yeah, Sapphire's is the blue one, which is in the cup too, um, oh, the middle bit of the cup, the two lines there is Gast Huckleberry, I think, and the heart and the top border are Jodry Clockwork Orange. So I've seen a fair few, I've seen this done. So, so originally I said I was gonna stitch this for my office and then I'll stitch it again for home. I decided I liked it too much and wasn't gonna do it twice because life's too short. So having seen it, I forget who's done it. I think Salt Box, Box Stitcher has shown that she's done it. One of the designers photocopies her stitched pieces to use as 
like decoupage and stuff like that for insides of boxes and stuff like that. So I have to copy mine. And um, to be honest, so we have got a very good photocopier at work, has to be said. Ooh, let's hold it there, look. There we go. I am pretty happy with that. So I have to, I just bought an additional copy home to show you, but um, I now have that stuck on my wall at work. I also want to do but first coffee for the office and put that by it too. I think I'm going to get like a very small basic frame. Um because that's actually now worked out at six by four. So perfect. So I'm going to, going to um, get a really basic black frame and I can actually frame it. So I mean, I'm well impressed with the details. You can actually see the Ada holes. I mean, how cool is that? And my stitches, it's not gonna focus. That's cool. So I'm super impressed by that. That's the photocopy for you. Right then. I don't know where to put things. So that was the KT coffee time sale. All done. Woohoo! I think I'm the first to finish. I think I was the first to finish as well. I finished a sale before anybody. I mean, I've kind of been lately um, stitched something for about a week before I get bored of it. That took me five days. Jobs are good. And I don't think I had to frog it much either. So then I spun the wheel. I did. I put my three 2017 pieces, year of, 2018 year of whip pieces, 2017 year of whip pieces, 2018 year of whip pieces into a wheel and spun it. And it pulled um, Winter Village by Stone Street Stitchworks. It was a free design they put out last winter. Have I got a cover picture of it? I've got like 15 copies of the chart. So it's that one. And this was one of these things, I thought it was 32 count, it is a really kind of high count fabric and but I don't think it's a particularly great quality one. I don't know, it was one of those gra a grab bag, but I've got them there. Uh, so I have done, I had half of, I had half of this one done and some of the, the, the line. So I've gotten both, the, the, finished that star snowflake whatever it is tree bit that one and started that one so I kind of feel I had hoped to try and get to the end of the green kind of in this sit uh, setting of it but I didn't get it done but I feel like I've made progress on that and my aim like a lot of people I am really feeling the get stuff done businessy type thing now the only thing I know that will not be finished from this year's starts is Elizabeth Shepherd. There is no way on earth that is going to be finished. So I'm happy with that. No, um, I can deal. I don't think my cityscape will get finished, but I'd really like to get a page finish on that because there's not much to do with it for a page. So my plan, big plans for twenty for the rest of 2018 is to oh come on, Kerry, finish Winter Village and a page finish on cityscape. If I can get those two done, I'll be happy. So let's put that on the chair as well. I've had a bit of stitchy time on the bauble. My daughter, as I said, Lottie does French club on a Monday after school. So there is nothing to do. She goes to a village school. There is nothing in the village other than houses, except for the school and a pub. I don't drive, so it's... Yeah, I get there, I finish work, I go straight there, so I go and sit in the pub and have a cup of coffee. I need a cup of coffee, as you might have seen from Instagram. And, I, and I've been baubling and floss tubing lately. This looks decidedly lopsided now looking at it. Sorry, I just looked at it from the back and it looks really lopsided. And I'm hoping it isn't, I'm hoping it's just the way that I'm holding it. I see counting in my future. Oh, I don't care. Right, so yeah, it's coming on. So I did, this week I've done all the purple and that yellow line. So I've got that kind of a bit down to go. So it's coming on. Obviously, we've only got two weeks to get this in the post. So my plan is to have it finished by next week. And I'm also going to photocopy um, that too. 
and keep a copy in my I make a like a paper bauble, a paper mache a bauble, not paper mache, decoupage um, onto like a little wooden bauble form because I think that'd be quite cool. Wednesday was Heather Link is my homeboy's birthday. We started, well, she started the Black Pearl along with a few others, um, which was the official birthday chart. The other was Stitch on a Mermaid or Stitch on Anything and stick the hashtag on it. The hashtag is L. I M H birthday cell on the screen. So I started this because the black pole just isn't with me, but I started this Let Us See Mermaid and it's stitched on the called for linen because I picked it up for a bargain. I wasn't going to, but this is Permin's Water Lily. It's a kind of really pale, sagey green. That is the right word. That's Tissa's two nights work on it. Well, I would have done a lot more until I realised that there's a big mistake in that one. Obviously, which then will throw the whole of that out. So I'm going to rip out the whole of that and stitch it because I can manage it. I've got plenty of border. I can manage it if it's one stitch over. So I, I'm, I've converted most of it to DMC because other than the swirls, that is, that's made up of three or four colours and I was just kind of like, ah, oh, just DMC, it's fine. And the mermaid's not got masses of colour in it anyway. So, there we go. So, I've, these are the only, these are the only um, called for that I bought. So, it's cherry tomato, shrimp cocktail, chilli pepper and lemon and lime. And I need to get another lemon and lime, but I can only get hold of one. So, but those were part of my haul this week on my Sunday morning ordering frenzy. Yeah, should have just gotten with the stitching, it would have been so much cheaper. So, so yeah, a bit of frogging before I carry on, but I'm really enjoying it. The linen is beautiful to stitch on. I know some of you are going to say I'm not a fan of that brand, but I'm really liking it. I've got a really big piece, so I can see a lot of things being stitched on it. I think that took a quarter of what I had. I'm guessing I had about a fat quarter of it. I don't know, piece was 22 by 23. Right, that's that. So that's all the stitching. Let's move on to the stuff that arrived in the post. Because I haven't physically bought anything, so I haven't physically been to a shop. It all arrived in the post. Happy mail, whatever. So we have got my September, oh look, it's pencil bag, September. I can't think what it's called. Chromatic Alchemy turned up. Oh. So this is super pretty. I don't know what I'll stitch on it, but it's super pretty. Oh, that's quite true. I'm loving this. Yeah, so this is Erebus. No, Erebus. Somebody probably can tell me what that is, but I don't know, Erebus. Oh, ran the rabbit hole. I watched the new Doctor Who. It was rather good. I don't usually watch Doctor Who, but it came on. It was on between Country File and Strictly, which basically is a good time for us. So, so I watched it and I quite liked it. I will be watching it again this week. You might make a Whovian out of me yet. Um, I kind of want to do the... Is it Colours of Aurora Cell? I think it is. It's the Northern Lights designed by Emma Congdon, I think, that was in World of Cross Stitch a few issues ago. I had no black fabric and I looked at the navy blue and thought, it's just not going to be dramatic enough. Um, I pulled most of the colours and I think I have most of them. I think I, I, think I need about eight colours. Silly me, should have done all the... So I need two colours for mermaid and I need two colours for, no, no I think I need five for colours of Aurora. Should have pulled them before I did my lakeside order. So I haven't started it yet, I don't know when. But the big piece of permin that I got from Linda's Farn in their big fabric sale a while ago, I remembered seeing that she had black Ada and I thought, well, I'll just have a look and see if she's got any left. And the pieces she had were just about big enough. I think I might 
excuse me, I think one side's a two inch margin, but I can deal with that. So I picked up both pieces because they were £1.80 for a 16 by 13 piece. Bargain! And she's in England, so it's uh, only like it was only like £1.50 postage. Um, she also had just an odd cut of the Permin Water Lily again. Um, and it's 22 by 7 and a half inches so I mean it's long and thin and I kind of thought I've got so many of these I think I've got five rows now to do and I've got fabric for two of them and I thought because I've got the star sapphire for some of them and I thought that's quite close to star sapphire it's a bit more sagey green rather than I guess minty green but I figured it's gonna it'll work pick that up at the same time because that was that was a good price and that's all the fabric. Uh, my order for order my bendy stitchy D stash stuff came in. Yay! So I've got homespun collectible Santa star. I love him. I think he's so cute, and he's like in five colours. Um, I so I'm not going to stitch the border, and I am going to make him into a star. When will I start him? I don't know. But I really like these homespun elegance, no, sorry, homespun collectible Santas. I think they're fab. So, if I happen to come across any of those cheaply again, I will be buying them. Um, and the other things I picked up were Just Nan's, because I like Just Nan's little thing, designs. Um, there's one called My Fair Ladybug, that is just the chart. So, you can't see that, but it's basically just a small. Um, that one. Victorian floral, pretty pretty. Don't know when I'll start these. And garden maze, again, very pretty. Um, and they're all charted in DMC, which is fantastic. And they've got a couple of speciality stitches. They always do. There's a, um, uh, some Smyrna's, and this. So garden maze has got Smyrna's. Um, my fair ladybug's got eyelets and as has Victorian floral but they're just a couple of different sorts of eyelets and there was also some perforated paper little token card I don't know if it says how big they are my thought was ATCs but I think they might be a bit big but we shall see um, so that was what I had from Michelle okay dokie um, I succumbed to um, Heartstring sam Sampler is Crossfit Nation, which is the sale starting on the 15th. Excess Nation sale, that's going on the screen. Um, other than probably the faces and things, so other than probably the faces and needles and stuff like that, itchy nose, I'm, I'm going to just do it in whatever colours I want. Uh, because I am so because it's a big piece the only one I might buy is Charlotte's pink because Lottie is a stitch on that she knows that yeah sorry um Charlotte is a Lottie's a stitcher so I might do Charlotte's pink even though she doesn't like pink but you know I kind of feel like um, I think it'd be fun so what I am going to do is I have this is my box of special variegated threads so there are things like there are limited edition stuff not the jodries i've got they're all in a separate box although i will be pulling from them too but it's things i've only got a couple of so i've got like things like there's a couple of dinky dinky dyes it's my favorite ever floss dinky dyes luna park they don't make it anymore i've also got um dragon floss from pole stitches my 21st century yarns which I love a random green which is really pretty anywho and some silks for you silks oh so soft silks for you silks that were sent to me by I can't remember the score new swap I am so sorry I cannot remember oops 
curry. So I love this and I'm thinking those two would go in really nicely. So I'm just going to be pulling from the sash. So cross stitch notion style starts on the 15th. Um, what's the fabric? Silk Weaver 32 count Wexford Midas Touch. My money's it's going on water lily. Ooh, ah, water lily. Um, ink circles. Thank you, Kate at Lakeside Needlecraft. She's had this one on the website for a while. I asked her to get this one. Arranging cacti. Love this. Hubby's really hubby really likes this one. So I will be stitching this one at some point. And my favourite ink circle chart is nothing. You're not going to be able to pick this one out in a million years. Monkey wrench. Absolutely love this. I like Quaker. I like Quakers. I'm love doing. I'm doing my big Elizabeth Shepherd's a Quaker. Absolutely love this. It's one of her older ones. It's 2010. It's four colours. I absolutely love this. Part of the selling point, I must say, is the fact it's a Foo Fighters song. So I kind of think that's quite cool. The, the name Monkey Wrench comes from a, um, a quilting pattern, also known as Churn Dash, but Monkey Wrench does sound better. You're absolutely right, um, ink circle person. So, Monkey Wrench, I love this. This may be my new year, new start, because, well, because I love it. Um, right. Oh, Georgia. And the hole still keeps coming. My Jodry came in. Pretty, pretty colours. So, we have got... These were um, a special one. Just change of season. She, um, Michelle at Jodry held a competition to design threads. Um, and this was one of the runners up. But I absolutely love this. That's my favourite. Because it really is um, change of seasons. So I think that I think that's quite autumny. Um, the winner was autumn leaves. So um, that's quite. It is nice, but I just prefer that's the greens. I love the greens. And then I just got my usual five off the list. Well, it's not my usual anymore because I cancelled it, just because so many of them now and I'm not using them and I'd like to go and try the, the week's club that Lakeside do when probably after Christmas so so we've got Havana Nights and Morning Sun um Treacle Toffee that's actually a really nice brown um Love Birds that really does look like the Love, love Birds colours and Frozen Meadow but these are just... I, I've started bobbinating all my jodry and they are, I mean they are highly variegated and I think there's only about eight I've got that are one colour with variation. So, but I'm going to try and use them up a bit more. My ATC came in from Claire. Um, oh, with some DMC metallic in. Cute little card, and there's my ATC. What else we got left to do? Magazines, and I won Rita Marie's is it Floss Tube Anniversary or 500 subscriber. It's one or the other. I was expecting this Frosty Forest and a piece of hand dyed fabric from, from Rita Marie. I got a lovely parcel for, I was kind of like, oh, exciting. So a massive piece of fabric, well, it's not massive, but it's a big piece of fabric. It's way bigger than the chart needed. So, and it's this kind of lovely green gray. And it's absolutely, I, yeah, it is really nice. I can see so many things working on that. I don't know either. Mm. Slightly more green than it's showing up. I can get it. To... No, it definitely has a green hint to it. Some cute fabric. That'd be really pretty in my quilt as well. Um, 
long standing joke. Well, not so long standing joke, but a joke, nevertheless. A bag full of some lovely bits and pieces, some threads and some beads, some uh, Kynex silk, ser silk serica in purple, and Kamalit, which is kind of fake silk, I guess. Um, it's the rayon, is it rayon? Kind of meant to feel like silk, but so in the brown, but that's a really good brown, that one. Um, a hand dyed by, by Rolanda thread. This is so pretty, it's blue. So that might well go in cross stitch nation. Seed beads in a kind of nice frosted red. With all my Christmassy stuff, they will be so good. And I've got nice dark green frosted ones actually. That'll work well. And she sent me some silks for you. Look at those. I'm not so sure about this one. I like it, but I'm not sure it's right, but this one is definitely going in Cross Stitch Nation because I think it will work. I think it will complement nicely with these. So, super excited. So, I now have four silks for you. How exciting. So, that was um, everything from Rita Marie. Got some cool stamps as well. I like stamps. Our post office just sticks sticky labels with the cost on now. It's a bit dull really. Oh, my little post office is closing at some point. Um, so town is now my only option and the town post office is horrendous. So if I'm sending you stuff, you'll get it when you get it because um, if I go to my local post office, I allow 15 minutes to queue and to do. The town I have to allow at least 30 minutes to 40 minutes, which means I have to leave work um, about three quarters of an hour early. So I will only be going to the post office when I have to go for work because then it doesn't eat until I get paid to go. So, and the queue can be outside, out the door sometimes because they deal with all the passports, the driving licenses, they've got a foreign, not driving licenses, they um, all the DVLA stuff. So you can pay for your road tax and stuff there. So they do, because they do, it's the, it's the general post office, they do so much um, that some of the smaller ones don't do. They're naturally busier. They've got a bureau de change there and everything. So they get massively busy in, in the centre of the city. Um, so it's going to take, it's going to, postage will need planning. I can't just go, oh, I'm just going to go and pop to the post office. Right, world across stitch, ing. Because we never say the ink. Let me just move some of my pile of lovely things from Rita Marie out of the way. And I've just looked at my watch and realised I've got to go out in 45 minutes. Right, let's get cracking with this. My video will not be another 45 minutes long, I promise. We have got flip throughs and giveaways to deal with, and probably some flossy plans. Yes. World of Cross Stitch. Cute bauble. I haven't decided. Oh, that was, my money's on the Doreen Jones by that one. There we go. That's the mag. We're full on Christmas now. So, contents. Let's see. I was a bit kind of like, hmm, don't know. So all the usual, oh, this, oh, that's cool. Actually, so the bauble's double-sided and it is a Doreen Jones. We spot a Doreen Jones a mile off. So that's a close-up of the design, but there's also the back of him, also, which they don't show a picture of Stitch, which is a bit funny. No, it's not on the bot city. Oh yeah, okay. So yeah, the back of him as well. So that's cool. I quite like that idea. Except he's fully shown fully stitched half stitch so the background's half stitch in one strand yeah I don't think so yeah I think I would just be picking a pale blue fabric to be honest um Margaret Sherry cats in stockings 
that's actually really quite cute. I've not really stitched Margaret Sherry's. I've stitched one or two things before now, but they are cute, her designs. We've got... Uh -oh. Fairy tales. Oh, this is going to be tricky. Fairy tales. We'll just do that. Look at that. There we go. She's cute. Fairy tales mouse. Um, designed by Lizzie he Lucy Heaton. Letters and whatnot. More letters and whatnot. Um, Jenny Barton owls. They're actually nice. They look good on the blue. We've got. Pets. Uh, it's just a. It's just called Rescue Dog. I'm guessing it's just because it's a bit of a. Um. What do you call them? Mixed breed. There we go. Uh, giveaways, best buys, stuff like that. Apparently, it's all about the Nutcrackers. I do like that because we have a big one on our fireplace. Did we put it on the fireplace? We bought one anyway last year because I really like them. Or did my mum buy them? Fast now, it's gone. It's just going on. Um, Carol Thornton, Starry Starry Night. Not sure about that one at all. The little dragon and uh, in the chums Lucy letters and advice and giveaways and um, Christmas pudding letters. They're quite cool. I like me a bit. Christmas pudding. So it's the full alphabet. Oh no numbers this time. Just full alphabet. Oh keep going. Uh, we have Yuletide Cheer, which is the design library, all kind of traditionally looking little motifs. That'd be handy. Oh, I like that. Oh, no, that I do like. Oh, can't fold the magazine to show you. I like that sleigh. My, I say this every time. I'm like, oh, I'm going to stitch all of these. I just imagine that's light effects. <laughs> um. But I could just see that star being stitched in beads. I think that would be really cool. But I, oh, and I like the lantern. Oh, I say I like all of these, but I'm not, I'm not going to switch them. But I just don't. Okay. Christmas cards. They're quite nice. And I think these are actually stitched on a crafty kitten linen. So I seem to recall something on her Facebook page. Yep, sunlit water. Let it snow. That's cool. I like that blue they've got it on. That's Jenny van der Weel. That's really nice. It's got beads, I think. Yeah, it's got beads on it. Mittens. Can't turn the page, so I've got broken finger now. Um, Santa and his little... Oh, come on, not Santa. Nativity. That's another Doreen Jones. Actually, they're really... Oh, what's the word? Easy stitches. They're kind of blocky colour ones, so... They're quite sweet, actually. They're me meant to be finger puppets, but you could easily do them as standees. Uh, Jenny Bar yeah, Jenny Barton reindeer row. That's cool. I like the fact they're all in silly jumpers. I can't. Okay, in next month's, I can't get pages apart. No, not that I needed to. Next month is. That lot. Tea cozy. Um, Holly fairy things. That's actually really quite nice. I like the idea. 
I won't, I won't ever get around to doing them, but I like the idea of those little oops, topiary trees. I think they're quite cool. Right then, so that's that. Um, and let's move on to cross stitcher. Another one of these cards with the fake wooden button. As you can just sort of see at the edge there. But it's nice. Like me a post box. I like things. That, the iconic British kind of British things. You know, post boxes, phone boxes. Things you associate with the UK specifically. I really do like those things. It really that design aesthetic really appeals to me. The London Underground map. Love. Love the London Underground map. It's just the design of the design of it. Right then, cross stitcher. Definitely is my favourite mag on the market. Not that there's anything particular I would like. Um, actually, maybe there is stuff I would stitch in here. So what's out there? Must buys. Stuff like that. Frankenstein is the stitch people thingy. More offers from Willow Fabrics. Um, motif sampler. That's pretty. That is designed by somebody. Shannon Wasler. Mm, wouldn't have, and now I see it, I see that, but wouldn't have picked it out because it's, yeah. Not a lot, of, no beads involved basically, but it is very pretty. You could certainly add beads to it. Um, interview, welcome, oh, it's a box, I guess. It's quite cool though. Um, but you could easily make that a banner. That's really nice, actually. Cheryl McKinnon, Tiny Modernist. I like that a lot. Storage tin wrap, they're calling it. Mm. I would just do it as a welcome sign. I think it's really nice. We've got... What are they calling that? On our way. It's quite cool. Scooter's a bit of fun, isn't it, with the dog chasing it? Savvy Stitcher. Um, labels on perforated paper. And covering a matchbox and a book corner. Interesting. But it's nice to see perforated paper being showcased because quite often it's waste, like the vinyl stuff. And one day they'll even use. Weeks and gassed. Uh, I'll show you how to do all those. Letters. Candy cane holders. I like the reindeer. He's cute. And I kind of like the idea of doing a wreath with the... Santa... Uh, with the candy canes. I did play settings a couple of years ago where you used three of them and you could just pop a name in. Um, but that was only paper crafted. Uh, cross stitcher correspondence letter library is Santa and they've got the numbers too so that's that that'd be quite cool for personalising a stocking or something wouldn't it make it snappy photo booth kind of things I like the penguin one that's hilarious they're doing uh, a three part Afghan for a wall hanging, so you get the fur, you get some of it this week, and so you get one, two, three, four, five, six. So, yeah, you get half of it this time, but they make really nice individual ones as well. Stitch challenge, they're really good, not bad for. Uh, five DMCs and a wreath. So, cupcake, wall hanging you picture thing, technical term there, Maria Diaz. And keep going. Is that three smaller ones? I'm trying to work out whether that's all of them or just three smaller ones. Yeah, so you've got the main sample and there's also three smaller ones you can use as a cake band. And they've got a, one they put on a, a 
one they've put on a pinny as well. Um, Joy. That's nice. All the little houses. And I think that's pretty much it. A savvy Stitcher November. When I saw this, I thought Ginger Gerald immediately because it's hedgehogs and mushrooms. I thought, well, that's the hedgehog cell and the mushroom cell in one little chart. That's quite cute though, isn't it? So, and I think that's the lot. Coming next month. Two of those, who's, I don't know who that's, Let It Snow's designed by, but that's nice. I like the teal, in it? Right, so that's your lot for the magazines. Right. I'm going to save my shout outs because I've kind of half done them, but I'm going to save them until next time because we're going to do giveaway winners. I'm going to insert the video here of my Floss anniversary winner of the bag that's not yet full. So that's going in now. Right, so here we go for the drawing. Um, I have already I've put everybody's name into... Uh, an Excel sheet who told me their favourite um, songs. I forgot what the word was then. And we're going to, uh, um, we've got random.org up here with 27 names for the 27 entrants. And let's click generate. 13. Okay, number 13 oh, was Lynn Campbell. Ooh. there we go so Lynn I will contact you and um, sort your prize out thanks very much folks back to the normal program Lynn um, I've got your address and everything but let but send me a message and let me know what magazine you want um, in it do you want do you want the latest cross stitcher cross stitch crazy or world of cross stitch and I will get those. If I'm in town today, actually I can't get it because you won't see this before it goes up. So ignore that bit because that's complete nonsense. Let me know and um, I'll pick up the magazine for you and we'll get that into the, in the post to you next week. So congratulations and thank you for to everyone who entered. There were so many songs and such a broad um, musical genres and all that. Um, oh, there's a word that was going to come. So lots of really good songs, songs I'd, songs I'd never heard of, which was fantastic. Um, and just so many memories associated with music, which I think, and then I read something, did I read something today or did was it somebody who put it in a comment that said that the music you hear before you're 10, yeah, no, it was Jade, wasn't it? No, Jade, I forget. Um, the music you hear before you're 10 is what? can often be some of your favourite songs and I remember having babysitters when I was little who loved the jam and maybe subconsciously I heard that but another thing was like the Eurythmics and my mum loved the Eurythmics um, she was also a massive Elvis well, she still is a massive Elvis fan and we danced to Elvis at our wedding so anyway random rabbit hole giveaways um, the other two giveaways were the cushion nobody wanted it Shout if you do and I'll send it, on, you know, first come, first served. The lady, and only two of you wanted this one. So that goes to Michelle. Then you stitchy. At least I think you wanted it. I was a bit kind of, mm, 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 the comment. If you don't, let me know and I'll pass it on to the other person um, who put the name in for it. So um, that's that. My birthday is coming up in a month's time. We're going to have... My birthday cell is going to be black work. So it's going to be the hashtag that's coming on the screen that I can think of this afternoon whilst I'm waiting for it to be edited and all that. Um, probably black work birthday cell. Let's go with that. Black work birthday cell. I'd write it down if I could remember, if I could find a pencil. Right, written that down. Black work birthday cell. So. Um, another mini give. Oh, and I passed 400 subscribers. So we're having a 400 subscriber birthday mini giveaway. Because I've just had my Flosh Tube anniversary. So, you know, 
can't do it all so if you would like to win if you want to join us but have no black work i've got um a couple of little mini i've got mini kit and i've got two are they, different? they are different so i will give one of these away to somebody and i will it's kitted up in with white ada with black thread as a picture i will also throw in um a piece of hand dyed big enough to do on that and i will also throw in uh, a colored dmc variegation or a jodry or something something variegated that you can kind of go actually i'm going to do mix it up a bit so because black work doesn't have to be black um or done on white so I would like to join the Blackwork Sal. Um, so if you want one of these, I would like to join the Blackwork Sal. So I'm thinking on my feet here. And then the other one is going to be, so that's going to be like a mini prize. But if you liked my Blackwork Lady and would like a chance to stitch her, I'd like to stitch the lady. I'm having to write all this down, you know. And I'm just throwing in another, another chart just because I can. So, and this is a Christmas themed one, because why not? So I'd like to stitch Noel. Um, okay, rules. Let's go with If you win this, you can still win this, but you can't, no, actually, no, let's stick to, you can only win one. You can enter for all three, but you can only win one. We'll go with that and I'll draw the bigger prize first. So that makes it fair. So yeah, black work sal. Oh. She's upside down, I know, black work lady or Noel. It's a big chart, but it is all in Stitch and DMC. Um, the size is, doesn't say. Can't see it. Uh, 280 by 120. Because the chart is that big. Uh, yeah, E2. So 280 uh, by 120. Noel, Lady, Blackwork Sal. That's your lot, I think. Looking around, can't see anything else I haven't mentioned. If you still want, if you'd like the Blackwork Rose as well, I'm gonna stick Rose in there as well. I'll just, you know, all the giveaways, all the stitching, stitch all the things. Right, my plans, very quickly before this, here's my one, first one hour video. They're getting longer, I'm sorry. Um, my plans. Frog the mermaid and then restitch it before cross stitch nation shall sell starts. Um, and then that's it, I think. That's my plans for the next two weeks. A bit more on the winter village, get that bauble done, stitch all the things, but probably only four because that's probably about my limit within two weeks. Um, have a fantastic fortnight. I will see you at the end of October. Happy stitching friends, um, the black work cell giveaway thingy will be, if I just say it's open just for this one, then that way I can hopefully get it in the post before the black work cell starts. Um, I need to check the date on that one. So we're going to go 10th, of, we'll go with 10th of November for the black work cell, just because that's the weekend before my birthday makes sense. Right, happy stitching friends. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.